Hi guys, welcome to episode 12 of our Luton Town Youth Academy regions. We start off, guys, with a game against Shrewsbury. And before we jump in, guys, if you can smash the likes, we massively appreciate it. Comment down below what your predictions for the games and episodes are, and sub to the channel if you are new. We have got our 4 1 2 1 2 team with Barry in defence, Moretti, Ambrose, and a Sin lead in line. Hopefully, we can bag three points, guys, against a dangerous Shrewsbury side. Right, this is an absolute dire game. Why can't I get anything? Oh, come on, Moretti. Ah! Why can't I get a goal? Um, we can see the goal for a change, but we've not really got the defensive attributes right, I think, of this team. Keller couldn't do a thing wrong, to be honest. It's one of those balls. He's kind of went down a bit rubbish, but that is some header pinged in off the bar. 1-0 to Shrewsbury. We haven't played well, and to be honest, neither of Strasbury. I mean, James Wiesloski with the goal. Hopefully we can get ourselves back into this game and get a goal, because we could get something from this. Oh, it's a good ball from a Sinti Foster. Foster's a little tricky menace when he can be. Come on, Foster. Come on, Foster. Oh, he snuck it through the goalie. Get in. You beautiful, beautiful. Sh oh, come on. Don't give us an angle like that. We don't want an angle like that. What is the goal? Go what is the goalie on? Seriously. Oh, that's a good angle. That's a good angle. Oh, I thought he'd be nutmeg there. It wasn't as good as it looked in the end. The goalie just kind of went down like, oh, I better just fall over to this side. <sighs> Tootle's not happy. Well, we are. Kevin Foster, second of the season, 63 minutes played. 1-1, one -one, guys. Let's kick on and get a second. Oh, Sin's been so good this game now. Second half, second half. Magic! Oh, it's a bonus! I don't think we were scoring there. We ne I think we'd made an arse it. But Foster, you lucky, lucky son. Get in. Get a can of Foster's in there. Scottish talent. What? Oh, that is a bit unfortunate for Shrewsbury in the end. Kind of the side ta- Oh, I don't think that was going in as well. <laughs> Class. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, I love it. That's maybe a bit of a bullshit at the weak moment there. But who cares, guys? We're 2 1 up. We needed the three points, and that is a double for Foster. Get them in, guys. Ching ching. Let's hopefully get a third and kick on from there. Oh, we're. This is. Honest, see what happens when you go a goal down and we start playing better football, and now a sin wants in on the act. Come on, a sin. Come on, a sin. You're knackered, but you're on fire! Get in! 3-1! We are looking very, very tasty now, guys. We've struggled first half what was really a dire, dire game. And in the space of basically 38 second half minutes, there's been four goals and there's been an absolute ton of drama. Honest to God, the goalie for Shrewsbury can't be a goalie because he's clearly just a liability for Shrewsbury. But Asin and, uh, and Foster have done the damage. Asin, I think, has got two assists and a goal. That is a good return from him. Get in. Only his third of the season. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. Right, let's see. This. What, is, what are they doing? You're, you, uh, there we go. 3 1 result, guys. Get in. 3 brilliant points. And it gets us a nice bit of goals as well because we've lacked in goals. Second game of the episode moves to Burry. We. Hopefully can get a good result against Burry, who are, are a dangerous out from, and especially away from home, we need the three points as usual. Strong side as usual, um, hopefully this works as usual for us in a sense, because we've got to get the three points. And Keller, the man of the moment in goals. See if we pay off, guys. What is that for a header? That was a bit of a strained neck job. The man Ambrose, can he do it? Can he do it? Yes, he can! The man Ambrose is a gem. You guys have been smashing the comments, guys, saying how much you are loving Shea Ambrose. And to be honest, I don't blame you. The guy is just so, so good for practically a 55, 56 rated striker. But he's developing so well, guys. The potential is there in him. He's about, I'm sure it's about 86 is what he could be. And if we... It's going to take a while probably to get to an 86 rate with him, but he's a youngin. 10th of the season, he is banging them in, guys. Absolute talent of a player. Come on, let's kick on. Oh, pfft. that was unexpected. 
Bloody hell, son. Take a bow. They've not even troubled us. And they finally, and they do something like that in the 88th minute. Jesus God, what a bit of football that was. A bit, nice bit of passing, I will not deny, but that was just a powder keg of a shot. Keller's like, what on earth? I think he could have done maybe a bit better. I like that, the defender's got an arm and a leg and a bit of everything out there. Not happening, son. Ah, oh, well. Oh, this is dangerous. This is bloody dangerous. This is dangerous. Two, who's taking it? Come on, mate. Oh, got a draw in the end. They made an arse out nearly. It's maybe a point gained in the end after that. Going from this, guys, we are into our third and final game of the episode. This is against Southend. Another away game. And Southend, in the chuck and rain, it's going to be brutal. But we want the three points, obviously. And really, in terms of the team, we haven't really done much in terms of the changes. Keeping what we have... And I would say that this is kind of predominantly our first team squad. Hopefully we get three points, guys. Oh, Ambrose is already on a rampage already. He smells blood. So does a sin. So does a sin. Bit of strength there. Throwing the defender out the road to make it one. I don't know what the defender was doing, to be honest. But he just shoved him out the road like he wasn't even there. One nil. Easy as you like. If the defender had that bit of strength that clearly a sin has, I think it's like 87 strength or something he has, guys. But he is just so good. He is such a great, great player. And give him time, give him a couple of seasons, and honest to God, he will be an absolute monster. Fourth for the season for him, and he's getting the goals in now, guys. That is what we like to see. Buying him in for fun now, hopefully. Because he's got to chase up good old Ambrose, who's buying him in for fun. Bit of a nervy, ty nervy time, I would say, for a sin. Right, what are we going to get from this? Throw in Lingard, what are you going to give us, son? It's a good ball to Ambrose. Come on, Ambrose. Come on, Ambrose! I'm going to have to give him a nickname, guys. So go and suggest in the comments, what do we go for? Because we need to give Ambrose a nickname. Honest to God, he is the man with the plan. 11 for the season, and he's just so good, guys. He is just free scoring in the league. I think he must be pushing towards top goal scorer in the league already. But a sin is not even near him in terms of goals. That's how impressed I am with Ambrose. We brought him up early thinking it was a bad move, but to score 11 goals, he's proven that it's not been a bad move. It's been an absolute masterstroke. Come on. Come on, a sin. Skill him and oh, easy. This is beautiful. Come on, a sin. Lewis! Good old Lewis with a goal there. He's sneaking as well. A sin's walking away in disgust. Come on, son, celebrate with your teammates. We're going to go and celebrate with the players. I think that hopefully are ours. But we're 3 0 up to the good. And oh, he comes over now, a sin. I'll laugh at that. Um, we're looking absolutely tasty, guys. The fans are gutted for Southend. The Luton fans delighted behind the goals. Who can blame them when you're 3-0 up to a team like Southend, who are probably not going to be challenging, I believe, for, say, like, promotion. I might be wrong coming into the season, but we have just proven in this game that we have a team that are more than capable of competing now. It's taken us a bit longer, in a sense, to kind of kick on, but I think we're looking very, very good, guys. Chris Lewis, his first goal for the club, I believe, and it's a good, go decent goal at that. And Southend making the subs as well, not surprised, to be honest. Right, Southend might finally get a bit of attacking, guys. They haven't even, they, literally for this whole game, they haven't even posed a threat. Waddle, Waddle, Waddle. Oh, we're not get, we're not keeping clean sheets. This is a joke. Why on earth? Midfield, defence, no line. That is pretty easy in the end. The centre backs and defence and midfield and just about anywhere else, guys, are all over the bloody place. We're three-one to the good, but these are the games you want to now keep a clean sheet when you're three 0 up. But this is what we're finding. We're not keeping enough clean sheets, and Keller's probably going to get gutted. Gary Deegan. I think we've played like, he's played everywhere. Right. Come on, guys. Oh, thank God for that. Hope you've enjoyed it, guys. Smash the likes. Comment down below what you thought of the episode. Take it easy, guys. 
thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed as always. Like, comment and sub. And I will...